Welcome to the AI for Good Global Summit. I'm joined now by Manuel Marina Prez, who's the uh, cardiologist and is founder of the health tech Ayurven. And your idea is digitizing um, basically the diagnosis. Tell yeah. me about that. That's it. Thank you. The idea when we started with the research in 2014 um, in our research institution, the Spanish Cardiovascular Research Center, we were trying to create machine learning algorithms and to write code to partially automate what doctors are doing when dealing with electrocardiograms, when dealing with uh, the analysis of the ECG. Today is almost one million hours a day of doctors that are diagnosing uh, through these complementary tests and it's the starting point of the cardiology uh, checkup. So anytime there is a cardiovascular problem or a, uh, you are suspecting a cardiovascular disease, you are trying to analyze those electrograms. So, we were doing research and in 2018, we decided to uh, create a product and a, and a startup, a health tech company based in Madrid and now hiring uh, all over the world um, to just do that. Now it's it's not a desktop software, it was at the beginning, now it's a cloud-based infrastructure uh, where artificial intelligence is getting electrocardiograms through an API, which is the, the door where you can enter platforms and processing those data uh, reaching cardiology level accuracy, and that was a challenge, and then sending electrolysis back to support those doctors uh, in that process. When we talk about AI for good, patients will want to meet you in person, right? They don't want to do this remotely. Yeah, the, the reality is, uh, at the beginning, patients prefer uh, the human contact and uh, a real doctor on the loop. Uh, and many of those setups are like this. So you have the software that is automating the repetitive task, that is triaging uh, the cardiac patterns, finding the ones that are clinically relevant for a doctor, and the doctor is spending the time treating the patient, speaking to the patient, understanding what the patient needs, and being more empathic with the patient. But today, doctors are overwhelmed by the amount of data they have to process. The world is recording more and more electrocardiograms, it's a, it's a complementary test growing 12% a year, so more and more electrocardiograms are being analyzed every single uh, year. And uh, what we as doctors need is to find the diagnosis. At the end, any test uh, in medicine is to find what is happening in that concrete patient and how can I treat it. The time you need to analyze this complementary test it's just time that today we are obliged to, to spend and to, to be accurate on that one. But software solutions and technology are evolving. And AI, this is the power of AI. It has the ability to analyze massive amount of data from one patient and then to give you uh, uh, an indication or a clinical decision support system on where the disease is, on how, uh, what the disease looks like. So you can treat it and then you can uh, solve the problem to the patient. Isn't there also the issue of data security? Because this is all going on the cloud. Yeah. To do so, of course, you need ISO standards, which are um, cloud security, GDPR compliance. There, there, there is a, a lot of challenges. And, and the problem in a startup like us is that when it's a health tech startup in health, you need to uh, become a very professionalized project with a lot of uh, standards and, and a lot of quality system, trustability of the patient uh, since the beginning. Otherwise, it's impossible to reach uh, the healthcare systems uh, in different countries. Now we are live in, in more than 30 countries. So to do so, you need to, to uh, be a, a very structured project almost since the beginning. Now, AI health is advancing rapidly. Remote treatment is, ra you know, is rising enormously. Yep. Uh, where do you see AI developments in the long term? In your well, field? In healthcare, I think uh, on the short term, AI is, is real. AI is happening and AI is adding value currently to the doctors, to the patients, and to the healthcare systems. We have some projects where we are reducing the waiting list from three months to less than five minutes. That's why digitizing the diagnosis looks like. Like the patient is waiting for three months until they get the diagnosis, and now that you can do that in less than five minutes. Uh, the average time is 4.3 minutes in those projects. Yeah. We have other projects where we are reducing false positive diagnosis by 98%. This is the reduction of the workload of doctors by 98%. So those kind of softwares 
that are able to manage massive amount of data in a concrete use case, because we are just doing electrocardiograms, um, can have a clear value proposition today uh, for the healthcare system and for those doctors and those patients. On the long term, I think AI is going to change the way we work. We doctors, we are doing 40% of, uh, of our work in a daily basis is to do repetitive tasks, administrative tasks sometimes. And AI is kind of a software as a service uh, solution or, or what I like to call a platform as a medical device. And, and those things, those kind of uh, code and software solutions allows you to automate or partially automate all those repetitive tasks that are generating burnout in the doctors, that are generating all those inefficiencies in many healthcare systems that are not allowing us to standardize the way care is provided depending on where you were born. And this is why I truly believe and, and I see that in a very tangible way, you know, the project that we have ongoing, that this is real, this is happening, and this can have a massive impact on the way we we uh, move on to the healthcare space and the way healthcare is going to evolve to reduce uh, uh, sudden cardiac arrest, uh, heart attacks, and all the massive problems that are impacting all the goals that we are we have in this agenda of the United Nations Agenda for 2030. Manuel Marina Brez, um, co-founder of the health tech Idoven and a cardiologist. Really interesting. We'll be hearing a lot more about this in the future, I'm sure. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for the invitation. And we'll have much more on AI for Goods from the Global Summit right here, so do stay tuned. Mm -hmm.